Welcome to part number 40 of Gran Turismo 5 B Spec. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing the American Championship, attempt number two. So, my idea of using the Dodge Challenger SRT8 touring car was not a good idea. So, we're gonna have to sell this thing. Really, I don't keep cars that I'm not gonna use anymore. R35, same deal. We already used it for the Dream Car Championship. It doesn't matter. We're, we're not using it again. But, what we're going to do is we're going to finally do a race modification to a car. Actually, before we do that, let's go check out the used car dealership because we haven't checked it out yet. You want a map delivery? Let's see here. What, what's available right now? And eh, nothing useful. So yeah, dealership. We're gonna go to Chevrolet. What happens to the music? Gonna buy the Corvette ZR1. Not that the color matters right now because we're just gonna paint it randomly. I want that velocity yellow to be added to my paint reservoir so that way I can use it early or later on. So there it is, Corvette ZR1. TMI, dude. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's gonna be money well worth it because yeah, I know this car is fast, dude. I've I've played this game before. And GT6. I know how OP this Corvette is. So there it is. And really? Uh, yes, full tune. Because screw the fact that, you know, screw Indianapolis. In terms of B-Spec. Because the AI sucks. You know what? For kind of like a... Our Racing Evolution tribute. We'll paint the car blue. And then there's only one more thing we got to do to the car, and then we are straight. Oh yeah, Sky. This car is actually really fast. Alright. We do have to tune up the car, and just give it a ton of power, but there's one thing that I'm missing. You guys know what it is. Nope. Nope. There we go. It's almost complete. Now we go to the tune shop and max this baby out as much as possible. You miss C4 so much. True, but Indianapolis really is just you have to get them on the straightaways oh yeah this thing's gonna have a ridiculous amount of power on top of that we're gonna have a supercharger in this thing almost 900 horsepower I believe the drivetrain, transmission, suspension, all that's already set to racing. Yep. Hey, Abstract, what's up? Oh my god, sport hard tires on this thing? That's the one thing we don't get free? Damn. <laughs> You're doing it in the Amuse Turbo. That's a bit OP, isn't it? See, I try to do B-Spec with cars that aren't, that aren't too OP, except for certain circumstances like this. Because this event sucks. At least Indianapolis does. But yeah, here we go. We're gonna have cause drive. Okay, so last time we had a 2J in the front. 
I'm hoping that's not the case this time. Ooh, there's a 2J right behind us. GTR. Oh, you'll lose if you choose it. I mean, I I use an R35 for it. All right, here we go. Okay, well, Kaz did a good job of leading the race, then throwing it away at the very end, J.R. Hildebrand style. So, new plan. I increased the downforce completely on the car, so that way he can be more faster in the corners. All we really can do is just smash the freaking pace up button. That's it. Look at that, he already took... He's already in the lead? Dude, are you serious? Look at the size of the gap he has now. So this basically went from being an exciting race to... This is going to be a boring 20 minutes, isn't it? Alright guys, so since, since this is going to be a very boring race... Random AMA time. Come on, let's get an AMA going. AMA time. Random AMA time in the middle of an LP. Because this is going to be a very boring 20 minutes now. <laughs> Jeopardy theme place. So like, 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 yeah, totally, right? See, but you have to do this. You have to make the core completely OP because the AI is so incompetent around IMS. It slows down way too much into the corners. When it's a high-speed oval, it's a speedway. It should be going fast. I get it. These are GT cars, and these don't. These are not indie cars. I understand that, but what prize car will you get? Hmm, an American car. Do I like pancakes? Yes. Do I like IHOP? Nope. So this is a restaurant called The Pan in Long Beach, and it's so good. They have like specialty pancakes, and they do like they do like guayaba pancakes. They do. Strawberry pancake. Well, they do like like guayaba. They do like mango. Mango. They do like it's crazy, and it's actually really good. They do lime, key lime pancakes, and they're super good. What's the track that I want to see the most in GT Sport? Uh, Long Beach and Laguna Seca. Have I ever had any Brazilian food? 
Uh, Chudaskaria, does that count? It does? Okay. I already said that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to kill the time here. Because, dude, look at the gap that Ka that Kaz already has. Dude, he's, he's gone. Do I live in Europe? Uh, no, I do not. I live in the United States. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except this race is really boring. Now let's see the fight for second, I guess. And two 4GTs are duking it out. Let's see here. Another 4GT fight, but this time with a Viper? I'm surprised the Chaparral 2J is not super competitive. The Panos, I thought it'd be further up ahead. By the way, rest in peace, Don Panos. What's my credit card number? Uh, five three four eight nine seven two five three 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 zero 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 zero. Expiration date June two thousand twenty. Three numbers on the back six six six. Now, before anyone says, you just gave us someone's credit card, well, no, you need their name and you need all the, you need all the correct information. It's like a puzzle. You can't just have one piece and then say the puzzle is done. <laughs> now, make sure you guys write that down and make sure you get your new Club Penguin subscriptions renewed. You guys have nothing to do in B-Spec, pretty much. I mean, dude, you're saying you have nothing to do in B-Spec? Bro, freaking cause is just going and destroying everybody now that I give him full downforce. You see, the other race was exciting. This, on the other hand, is just boring sauce. And then the two classic Corvettes. Uh, do the historic racing car cup. And do the race at Cote d'Azur, aka Monaco. And have fun with it because that race sucks. Now, can we have my social security number? Uh, uh sorry, um, I don't have one. Way historic will be way too difficult. Well, <laughs> you gotta suffer what I suffered through yesterday and today. Don't have the Toyota 7? Ah. Then buy one. No, I'm kidding. Then go get one. I, I mean, you seem to know what the prize cars are. I already kind of, you know, I already have one myself. I already completed that event, thankfully. So let me ask you a question, are you actually legitly doing the events with like non-OP cars or are you just doing them for fun, like grab a Red Bull and do the Turbo Cup or something? Yeah, pretty much GD. And we already did like the win, so we already won 3 out of 7. Yeah, I, I know that dude, I, we, we did like the win already.
You know, we might actually lap one of the Corvettes. Or three. I'm really surprised the Panos is not further ahead. Now, that's a car I actually thought would be really dominant. Maybe. Oh, the Gallardo Trophy? You can, you can pretty much do the Gallardo Trophy with om a almost stock car. What I did was... I think the Gallardo Trophy was part number 28 of my LP. Um, all I bought for it was a racing chip. Either that or an air filter. I just increased the horsepower by like 5 or 10. That's all you really have to do. Yeah, dude, the Panos is really cool. It, I mean, Don Panos, I mean, he was already old, and unfortunately you know, he died this year, or recently, actually, from cancer, I think? But, yeah, dude, Panos really had a huge legacy in the racing community, for sure. Uh, it was really nice that, um, at Road Atlanta for the Petit Le Mans, because I think he built Road Atlanta, that... In tribute to his life, they actually had the Esperante and the Delta Wing actually do some of the pace laps before the Petit Le Mans, which was really awesome to see. Like, I thought I would never see that car on TV race, because obviously I was only three years old when that car first debuted. I don't remember the Panos Roadster LMP cars, unfortunately, because I wasn't really watching a whole lot of sports car racing back then. It was mainly just IndyCar and F1. It's kind of weird how an American car has kilometers on the dash. We have no snacks besides Ritz crackers. No ham or anything? Not, not even peanut butter? Not yet, GD. We're barely getting to the tail end of the field right now. We have one Corvette dominating the race, which is cause, and then we have three Corvettes who are just back markers. Unfortunately. How big is the gap? Nine seconds. That's not as big as I thought it'd be. Oh, you like your crackers plain? I mean, rich crackers are good by themselves, but... I don't know, I like putting peanut butter on them. Peanut butter is... Do I like cookies? Uh, yeah. Peanut butter cookies, to be exact. Although, I, I can't honestly say that I'm a big cookie person. Like, I only like, like homemade cookies, like either chocolate chip or peanut butter. Apart from that, that's really about it. Like, I, I can't really... I don't like snickerdoodle. I don't like sugar cookies because they're too sweet. And I certainly don't like M&M &M cookies because, yeah, I, I, same thing as this sugar cookies, way too sweet. Love the Cookie Monster? Nope. And there's one thing that I'm like crazy over, I guess, in terms of like a sweet. 
you thought you said homie cookies? Funny thing. Funny thing you actually mentioned that because there's actually a uh, there's actually like a um, I don't know what it's considered. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and Google this real quick. Hang on a sec. I'm. Okay. So, CK, it's actually funny that you mentioned that because there's actually a. There's actually a uh, non. Oh, I don't know if it's a non profit, but there's actually an organization called Homeboy Industries, which is actually like a. I don't know if it's. I don't know what's technically considered. It's like a. Um, Okay, it's a youth program. So it's a youth program for for basically for people who are involved in gang activities and for people who are incarcerated. And it's kind of like a um, escape program where it's like training for outside living and it ha deals with like education. And they actually have a like an apparel store, a bookstore. They actually have a homeboy food industry. Homeboy Foods actually makes cookies. So yeah, homie cookies do exist. Technically, because ho well, homeboy. So there's actually homeboy cookies and homeboy butter cakes. And there's actually vegan homeboy baked goods. No, because I... O only, only the host and admins can send links. That's why. Pasoka? Grounded peanuts, sugar, and a bit of salt pressed to hold the shape. That actually sounds pretty good. But yeah, oh, sorry, GD. Only the admins and I can send and post uh, links on here. <laughs> yeah, dude, homeboy cookies do exist. Oh, what I was going to say was... Uh, Hawaiian shaved ice is something I actually really like. Yeah, Kaz is starting to calm down and his de uh, gap has decreased. But it doesn't matter because last lap, he dominates this race. From start to finish, just absolutely wrecks the field this time. Ooh, we're almost level 32. Okay, so replay has been saved for thumbnail purposes. My favorite candy bar? Um. Crunch bar. I like crunch candy. Alright, race number two. I'm gonna say rice. Race number two. Kaz is only the one. He's really the only driver feeling good? Okay, fine. Take the wheel. The Le Mans race is a level 35. Oh, I know. Level 32 is for the Nürburgring 4 hours. In terms of performance, I'm just going to go ahead and make this car super OP. I don't care. 190. That should be more than enough. Oh, wait. Bar. The 2 js gonna go fast. We'll see. <laughs> Gotti. All right, here we go. Heath. That's a good bar. That's a good candy bar. I'm I'm not too crazy about Heath. Hell, to be honest, I'm not too crazy about candy to begin with. Like chips, I'm not crazy about chips either. 
Like, the only chips that I really, really, really like are, like, like the plantain chips. You know, like, like the banana chips or whatever. Like, the ones you find, like, in a Cuban restaurant or in a Cuban store. Butterfinger's good. I don't like about Butterfinger is that it gets stuck between my teeth. Mars bars? Um... I hate Mars bars. No, I'm kidding. Um, Mars bars are good. I like them. Oh, bump and run to the Panos. Damn, Kaz. Super aggressive. Planet Mars. Favorite comfort food? Alcohol is not a food, guys. Aw, oh, man. Comfort food? I gotta think about that. You have to hack your GC5 to get the rip. It's really it's easy to obtain, to be honest. You know, there's actually a Japanese exclusive Red Bull that turns off the fan underneath the car. It's called like the 5G or something that you can only get in the Japanese version of the game through an event, but you can also get it with a garage editor. Yeah, the Red Bull is actually really easy to get. Level 35 B-Spec, yep, that's true. Or I have the Red Bull 2011. I guess comfort food, Arthur? Fried chicken. Fried chicken would have to be it, honestly. You hate the 2J? Everyone hates the 2J. Yeah, it is DLC, I know. I'm just saying that I don't need to get the Red Bull X1 because I already have the 20 or the X2010 because I have the X2011. Prototype? What do you mean? Like, are you asking what's my favorite prototype or are you saying it's a prototype? I think that's kind of obvious, GD. That's, those are the only cars that you use there. Well, comfort food, I think it's just really considered like food that just brings like some sort of like happiness, I guess. So like pizza, chicken, ice cream, fried rice, things like that. French fries. If you ask my dog what's her what's her favorite comfort food, it would be french fries. Favorite food? Sushi. Sushi, hands down. That's like... Like, I can eat sushi every single day if I wanted to and not get bored of it. Yeah, sushi is love. <laughs> and, you know, the thing is, is, like, I'm not necessarily talking about, like, sushi rolls. I'm talking about, like, the actual, like, raw sushi fish or sashimi, for example.
Your favorite food is pizza? You know, it's funny that we had that whole, like, Domino's, Pizza Hut, whatever argument earlier and stuff. Burgers for me, if that counts? Yeah, yeah, that can count. Um, because... As a contest, sushi plus side dude? I've... I have no idea what side dude is. Anyways, my cousin, who is of Argentinian and Italian descent, um, of descendant? Uh, or... What the hell am I saying? Okay, he's Argentinian and Italian. His grandma's Italian. And she makes homemade pizza. She used to make homemade pizza all the time. When we were kids. And it was the best pizza ever. And so unfortunately, when you go to any Italian restaurant, my expectations are already kind of low going to restaurants because nothing could beat her homemade pizza. Because she actually put like prosciutto and all that on it. It was really good. Yeah, M. Ludwig versus K. Yamauchi. But I think Gran Turismo Dad is going to reel him in and get the win. Alright man, see you in a bit. So we're almost halfway there, through the race. Cause really just needs to push more. If Ludwig can just start calming down a bit, I guess if we can get cause to just maintain this pace uh no barney not tomorrow if i stream i'd be streaming on like friday oh yeah ludwig von koopa <laughs> one of the koopalings yeah it would probably be friday barney but yeah if we can get cause to maintain this decent pace and ludwig if we get him to just calm down and get into the blue then we can have a prime opportunity to pass Yeah, the gears are short. For acceleration purposes. Because of the damn 2J. My favorite is um, Ludwig. My least favorite is Roy. Uh, 2J is much faster because of the fan. Come on, bump and run. Come on. Oh, Larry's your favorite? Nice. Yeah, I like Larry. There we go. See? I knew that plan was going to work. Yeah, Ludwig is starting to fall back. See, we just kind of... 
Yeah, that was his chance to overtake, and he went for it and got it. Yeah, Icky is weird. You know, speaking about the Koopalings, I'm just really happy that they at least are in Smash as uh, alternate colors or alternate costumes, I guess, for Bowser Jr., which is awesome. See, we need cause to start. Wendy is ugly. <laughs> See, we need cause to, re cause to really start pushing. Build that little bit of a gap between himself and the 2J and we're good. Yeah, at least his race wasn't that boring. Like, these guys are barely entering the corkscrew right now. So, I thought it was going to be just a dominant win, but nope. And you know the crazy thing is I was actually thinking about removing some of the performance parts from the Corvette, but I'm glad I didn't because we would be trying this again. Two to go. No, okay, I mean that's cool and all, but like I feel like most people want Waluigi because he's a kooky character in like the memes. That's really it. I feel like people are really irrational when it comes to Smash Ballot care, uh, choices though. That's the thing. Oh yeah, Planetary Go. I hate the song. I hate My Chemical Romance with a burning passion, dude. much CK like uh, honestly it's like when I when I think about a character I think about their move set like what kind of moves can you give them and I think about him is that he hasn't appeared in that many games you know so it's just like what can he do that's why certain characters are assist trophies because they only have limited abilities you know what I mean didn't you mean the creator well uh, yeah that's why uh, that's why he's driving I so happy to stumble upon his name while choosing a B-Spec driver and therefore I hired him. Oh, I know. And then I'm just saying that I hate my chemical romance. And therefore I hate I hate this song. Well, but what kind of moves can you give him though? That's the question. Most of the most people who want him in the game Want him for the memes, and that's what I—that's what I hate about it. Can we lap the Corvette? I don't think so. Yep, we got it. Awesome. So, one lap down for one car at least, and we win! The American Championship, sweet! Awesome sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's the finishing order. Another 97,000, level 32, we can finally do the Nurburgring 4 hours. Although, that won't be the next race we do. I don't think so, at least. What am I going to do now? I'm going to end the stream. Although, I'm not sure what the next event we're going to do is. I've been streaming for way longer than I should. I've been streaming for almost three hours, and this wasn't even a planned stream today. Alright, and what American car are we going to win for this event? 
Well, the way I look at it, it's a free truck that we can use in A-Spec, so... It's in yellow. Okay. If it was in red or black, I would say, okay, that's even worse, but yellow, alright, I'll take it. A at least we can use it for something. At least it's not useless like the freaking Auto Union Audi or something, you know? Slingshot Yellow. <laughs> you hate this truck? Yeah, this truck is ugly. But like I said, we can at least use it for the sport, the pickup truck challenge in A-Spec when we eventually do that. Why? Because Cause is a troll? There it is, our retarded looking wannabe hot rod truck thing. Ugh, that thing is. St oh my god, dude. Alright, so next event on GT5, I have no idea. I might do an endurance next. We'll see.